Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I will show you how to install the new release of OpenBSD with the disk encryption and uh, show you how to set up uh, something like a window manager or a desktop environment and some other settings. Uh, okay, just go to the openbsd.org and you go to download and choose the, your preferred method of installing OpenBSD. For my case, it's uh, downloading the ISO. And okay, so uh, I already prepared a virtual machine. So because I want to do this on a VM, so just uh, hitting begin. Okay. So let's send this to this and make this full screen. Okay. So the installation for uh, for the OpenBSD is very easy uh, to get uh, OpenBSD to work. So just hit E for install and uh, find your keyboard layout. Mine is the French. So and the host name. Type the host name any. Of course, lower cases letters uh, and the network is uh, default one autoconf yes for ipv4 and no ipv6 and uh, and we type a password for the root repeat the password and we want to start sshg and x as well and no we don't want to start XenoDM uh, before we configure it. So no, and change the no uh, user and no, and type the password. Repeat the password again. I don't want to allow root to to do that. Yeah, the disk is uh, SD zero. Make sure that you choose your disk correctly. Now for the encryption, you type P if you want to use best phrase or K for key disk or just leave it empty if you don't want to encrypt the disk. So just type P for pass phrase and want to use the whole disk and type my best phrase, repeat it again. Yes, the whole disk, uh, auto layout, yes. And uh, yeah, uh, CD0 from, yeah, pack name, done. And yes, we want to type yes here. Okay, it's going to take some time to install OpenBSD. So I'll be back then. So the installation uh, finished. So I'm just hitting enter for done. Uh, it doesn't matter for any time zone, so it's going to make some final uh, configs and uh, update the framework. So. so now uh, the installation, everything finished. So now we hit enter for a reboot. And it's going to reboot into the new installed installer so just uh, go for screen of course it's going to ask us for our passphrase uh, you hit enter okay uh, the first boot of OpenBSD always takes some time so we're going to log in as root. That's uh, 
so we can set up uh, permissions for the user so uh, because the user has no permissions to do any commands or anything so I'm going to do uh, pkg uh, add uh, vim I'm going to, to install edit an editor which is uh, vim uh, to edit some files Okay, it's asking me to pick a number. I'm going to choose uh, six, which is no X. So Vim is installed, so let's uh, uh, but, uh, create or edit a file because this one does not exist. etc and duez conf uh, because I'm going to use a uh, duez, so it's uh, installed on, by default on OpenBSD. So we're gonna write uh, some lines or just a line just to permit the, the the user to execute command just to permit and uh, I'm not going to uh, I'm going to do to do no pass uh, to avoid uh, typing my password every time I run uh, some command so no pass for for the user and we want to, it to execute root commands. So just save and quit that. And don't forget the, the empty line because uh, for some reason uh, it does not work with the, if you don't add this line with the S. So just save and quit. So and uh, let's uh, exit and log in as the user and uh, type your password and let's see if we can do package add I'm going to add uh, let's say let's add uh, DWM D menu and ST and uh, what do we want okay yeah that's uh, probably it so just hit enter okay forgot to do do as yeah just type do as at the beginning so uh, the installation of DWM and DMenu and SD finished. So now we don't need to uh, create an X session file for uh, Xeno DM to read from. So uh, let's do X session and uh, let me run X render render to uh, fix the resolution 1920 1080 and run sd and exec dwm and save and quit that so now we have to enable xenu dm so just uh, uh, run do as rc ctl enable enable xenu no dm Okay, just enable it. Okay, we enable it. So uh, now uh, let's uh, 
reboot reboot this system so uh, you can also start a Xeno DM just RC start Xeno DM or you can reboot okay so let's do do as a down oh, no. Like the best phrase. Okay, so Xeno DM started, so let's log in. Just type your username and uh, the password and hit enter. Uh, DWM should be started. So uh, we have uh, ST started automatically, and we have this console over here. We can close it and zoom in a little bit. Let's make the channel. Okay, so so to get rid of that uh, console, uh, it's uh, just uh, some Xeno DM thing. You know, just uh, okay, to do Vim etc x11 x11. And uh, you know, and I think this X setup uh, setup, yeah, setup zero. Okay, let's make this a negative thing. So we have to comment this uh, line, the geometry of X console, and just comment it, save, and quit. And let's do the res pko x. So just to restart. Okay, don't log in over here, just uh, wait for Xeno DM to start. Okay, it's uh, started. As you can see, uh, there is no console or anything. So, so let's log in and type our password. As you can see, it's just ST. So let's zoom in a little bit. And uh, I think that's it for the, this video. Uh, you can, of course, set up uh, any a window manager or any desktop environment. So just uh, install it and uh, change the, uh, the X session. Uh, something like, uh, let's say, I want to install just PKG uh, uh, and uh, XFCE. Uh, four, not five, not yet. XFCE four. So just install it and uh, change the X session to instead of DWM, uh, just uh, 
static CE and port. Okay, and uh, remove this, uh, these lines. You don't need, actually need this uh, X render line unless you are using a VM and uh, you can start the terminal or not start it doesn't matter okay so let's uh, just save and quit and uh, that's it and uh, if you have any questions just uh, ask me in the comments or on discord and uh, see you in the next video